Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna have a go at this um, mini dark project. Right, so I was looking at the design and there's a lot of things that I thought I could make better. So what I've done, I've uh, changed it. Right, this one on the right, that is the original uh, Spot Mini Dog, or Spot Micro. And then this one on the left, that's my one. So you can see this, they're very similar. Um, I'll just switch to that view. So my one's a little bit shorter. Um, just not as tall, that's mostly because of the legs. Uh, the body's about the same size. And yeah, I've got springs on the legs. So that should um, make it a lot smoother walking. And it should also be able to give a little bit of feedback. So I can put a little potentiometer rubbing against the, the bottom of the leg. <coughs> right, so making, this is how far I got so far. So we've got a rough body, we've got some kind of hip pads here, um, using a bit of threaded bar as like a structural kind of support. So we've got one leg kind of set up, it's um, connecting up using the, the I2C servo controller and we've got an Arduino Mega and a sensor shield and an APC220 uh, wireless thing. Okay, so we've got potentiometer and that's connected to this leg here. So, you know, obviously as the leg moves, they can see what position it's in. Um, but it's not really for that, it's mostly so that when it's connected up to the servo, I mean, the servos, they don't know what position they're in, but this will be able to tell me if there's any load uh, pushing against it, um, just so it's not kind of fighting it. So what I want to try is have it so if I lift this leg up, it'll uh, activate, well, it'll say the potentiometer is in a different position and that will move the servo. So like I can literally move the servo by pushing up on the leg. Right, anyway, that's it for that bit. <laughs> it's getting a bit weird. Right, so, <coughs> um, yeah, using a wall bracket just to hold it up for now. I am in the process of making like a little frame to hold, hold them up. And then I'll be able to bring my other computer down here and set that up on the wall. Uh, we got the other three legs sort of ready. So these are these are the um, suspensions. So they're quite soft. But they weren't soft before. They were really hard. They had these springs on. So these are just the uh, radio control car suspension. I mean, they work quite well. Right, so I'll just trying to explain how the hip works. Right, so we got a servo in the back here. That connects to this gear on the white one. So that will make the leg go up and down like that. Uh, we've got this servo top of the leg. That's on this gear here. So that can make it spin around like this. And then obviously this one with the spring on it. And it, it, I'll just disconnect it for now. But it, they, they do go all the way up, all the way up like that. So that should be fine. Um, as for down, it only goes to about 90 degrees, but I mean, when it's walking like this, it should be totally fine. Right, so over here, we are printing some washers at the moment, and we're printing a leg for the support, so we need two more of these. And these are just so I can start assembling some of the legs. Alright, so if you haven't noticed by now, we've got a new studio. So it's all um, work topped out. I haven't quite finished it yet. There's a, a more to go under there. I might be putting some more work tops over there as well. But we'll see how it goes. It's all work in progress. But yeah, this is why I haven't been uploading for such a while. I've been quite busy setting all this up, trying to make it all good. Trying to make a nice, tidy place where I can make stuff and record videos. Um, I just thought I'd show you a quick preview of this. This is the Hoverboard Tank Mark II. There's going to be a video coming up soon. Um, we're not going to go into any detail of that whatsoever. But if you want to see more of that, make sure you subscribe. And then you'll, you'll, uh, you'll get the link then when, when I upload the video. Right, so. Hi, right, just one more little thing quick. Right, so we went over the APC220, okay? Um, here. We've got a homemade ATEC controller. So this has got an APC220 inside as well. So we've got the two analog sticks, we've got eight 
digital buttons, and then we've got another two analog buttons at the top as well. Um, it does have battery, built-in charger, all this kind of stuff. Um, I might go into more detail uh, with that in the future, but if you want a specific video on the controller, I mean, it's quite good. It's supposed to have like a thousand meter range on it. Okay, so if you want to see more of that, make sure you mention in the comments and I'll do a video about it. Uh, Hope War Tank Mark II video coming out soon, and there's going to be more of this on the way. Right, thanks for watching.